Hi, I'm Michael Chase and welcome to Cup of Joe. Today we're filming at Canada Post's ninth annual Think Inside the Box conference at the beautiful Carlew. Join us as we have caffeinated conversations with marketing influencers about how brands are transforming the way they engage with people. <laughs> Today we are speaking with Alyssa Moses, CEO of Ipsos Neuro and Behavioral Science Center of Excellence. Hello Alyssa and welcome to Cup of Joe. Hello, very nice to be here. So, neuromarketing, tell us a little bit about why brands need to understand neuromarketing today. We need to understand how the brain reacts to information and what that does to possibly influencing decision making and influencing behavior. And so what we have learned through neuroscience is that the non-conscious is every bit as important as the conscious, and some will say it is wildly more important. And that's because there are neural networks in our brain that have to do with associations with brands, which on almost like a wave can kind of well up, and without our even thinking about why, we end up making a choice or, or taking a behavior. And it's because all of these different associations are calculating and giving us an answer. And that sometimes goes way beyond conscious thought. So your, your recent work with Canada Post and your study that you've just put out on neuromarketing, why is it so important? It's one of the most wonderful studies I've been involved with in my career. And one of the most wonderful studies I think that's really out there with respect to advertising and understanding media effects. Incredibly pioneering to be able to understand how people engage with different kinds of channels, all the different digital channels as well as direct mail, what the impact is for engaging people, motivating people, and then taking it a big leap forward. What happens when we combine the different effects of different media, of digital and direct mail, and what happens when we even change the order? is there a measurable effect? And no one's ever done that before. So it ultimately makes it much more exciting to do media planning because you're armed with some information about how to use each option to its best benefit for your brand. So let's talk physical for a second. So how do physical things like print affect our brains? It affects our brains on a number of uh, levels. One is the fact that when we're reading print, we can go at our own pace. And that means that we really have the luxury of digesting, processing, thinking about, building connections, um, making some preliminary decisions possibly, almost, um, almost imagining what it might be like to use that product, to buy that product, to put that product into your life. And so it's very, very powerful. The other piece of direct mail is that it's tactile. And the more that you can stimulate the senses, the more you're going to make a lasting impact uh, on perception. So I've heard you say this before. Why is this the best time to be in marketing and advertising? Well, I can answer because I've been in marketing and advertising a long time. And what we're seeing is a huge closing of the gap of what we didn't know and needed to know long ago. And that has to do with being able to measure the emotional impact of advertising, the engagement of advertising, so that even though our conscious measures can sometimes fail us in terms of people saying how they feel about something or if they remember something, the non-conscious tells us that there was arousal, that there was engagement, that there was excitement. Depending on the kind of measure you use, like facial coding, you can see that there was happiness or there was confusion. And so now we have a science behind advertising that meshes and converges with the art of it and just makes us so much more effective. It's magical. So tell me one thing brands can do today to transform the way they engage with people. Well, this may surprise you because it goes back to things we've known a long time ago, which is that you need to be very simple in your message and very specific. And having worked for years on strategies that are sometimes beautiful and elaborate, and then I see the creative that's associated with it, and the key message isn't there, and people wonder why isn't it communicating what it's supposed to communicate, we really need to think more about how people process information. 
and understand that we need to actually use the words and phrases that we want to get across and be very specific. And then we want to repeat those and connect the dots for people coming from a lot of different media and sources so that it really gels in people's mind. And quite honestly, if you want to know who's best at this, um, a lot of the politicians, I won't name names, but some of the politicians are very, very good at saying candidate A, attribute A. It may be not true at all, but they've created that neural network, that association, and that's what brands should do in a positive way. So thank you, Alyssa. It has been fascinating to hear how our brain works on marketing. Pleasure to be here. <laughs>